A ceremony was held in Hendersonville today to honor those who died on September 11th and those who survived. Among them, a New York City firefighter who answered the call to duty at Ground Zero. News 13's Mary Youngdeer joins us now. And Merritt, what was his message? Well, Tammy, Thomas Plackis now lives in Hendersonville and says people should never forget how the world changed 10 years ago. They came from near and far to remember 9-11. The worst thing that I've ever seen in my life. And um, it's giving me goosebumps right now just thinking about it. Retired New York City firefighter Thomas Plackis says he just knew a lot of people were going to die from that point on. I lost a lot of friends, personally about a dozen, that um, I went to probie school with and um, played softball with, worked with uh, in firehouses. The lives of families and friends of the 343 first responders that died that day can never be the same. It was a huge day in everybody's life that's here today. And, um, you know, it's the world changed. And it's, it sounds cliche, but it's true. Plakis was going on vacation that day, but instead jumped into his gear and onto a city bus to get to his staging point at Ground Zero. It was very eerie because um, I've, I'm not a veteran. But that was been the closest thing to a war zone that I could even think of. Dust was shin deep and papers were still flying in the air. Uh, putrid smell. Um, you knew there was a lot of death. You just, you know, we didn't get into the pile yet. And this was just coming off buses on 11th Avenue. And the horror upon seeing the fate of so many of the victims. I found lots of shoes, lots of clothes, nobody in them. Plakis says he attended funerals for almost a year following. And Plakis says the funeral of fallen Asheville firefighter Jeff Bowen brought back memories of all the 9-11 funerals he attended, and he just wanted to pay his respects to the Bowen family.